and what you see there is the analog signal turned digital with inversion simple as can be right hey what's happening guys what we are going to talk about today quickly is the Schmidt trigger which kind of looks like that and there's a reason for that and we'll get into that but first let's talk about something dirty that's right noisy signals in your digital circuits so we all expect our sine wave to look something like that but in effect you know it kind of looks like this in the real world and I'm gonna tell you right now there's really not much you can do about it it happens components are not perfect power supplies output noise everything has induced capacitance and inductance which kind of acts as antennas and it picks things up so let's say for instance this is our zero volt line and we need to trigger on the zero crossing point in our circuit right okay so there's your perfect condition now in our non perfect condition we end up with this and if we zoom in and take a close look at that what we may have here is the signal crossing one two three times well does that sound familiar to you guys that work with Arduinos it should it's bounce so it happens when you press a button but there is a simple way to get around it and that's the Schmidt trigger now I know you guys are gonna say what's the point of building this circuit when you can just buy a Schmidt trigger IC well the point of building this circuit is to understand how it works and why it works so let's take a look again at our signal so we'll have our dirty signal again very exaggerated but you get the idea and right here is where it crosses three or four times what we need to have happen is we need it to cross one time and basically the way to do that is to convert our dirty sine wave into a cleaner square wave and the way we do that now if you guys are gamers or if you fly RC planes or use RC cars you're gonna know this term is a dead zone also known as hysteresis all right new piece of paper so what we can do with our Schmidt trigger is null out this area here so again this is our zero volt and say for instance this is plus 0.5 and this is minus 0.5 volts we can have 
basically a one volt null area where nothing happens. So now we are going to get a positive going trigger at plus 0.5 volts and we will get a negative going trigger. We'll get a rising edge and a falling edge at plus 0.5 and minus 0.5 and it's an incredibly simple circuit you guys are familiar with that right it's an op amp so how are we gonna do this alright so our signal is going to come in through the inverting input from the output we are going to create something that looks like this what we have here R1, R2, R2 is going to ground. What have we created? A voltage divider. And what do we have here? Positive feedback. So by doing this and figuring out the values of our two resistors and using the voltage divider formula we can tell what our hysteresis equals all right so let's take a look at the circuit let's zoom in here All right, for right now, let me pull these out so it's clearer for you guys. This is the LM741. Okay. Pin 2 is our inverting input. Pin 3 is our non-inverting input. Pin 4 is our negative supply. Pin 6 is our output. And pin 8 is our positive supply. So I've got a couple of nine volt battery clips here. So we'll have an 18 volt supply here. This is a 10K resistor. This is a 1K resistor. So from the output, we form a voltage divider at the point where they connect. The voltage divider point feeds back into our non-inverting input, our signal is fed into the inverting input and we'll hook this guy here up to the oscilloscope and we'll see what happens okay I'm feeding in a 10 volt peak to peak 1 kilohertz sine wave that is channel one, the yellow channel. Passing it through our circuit, and what do we get? A perfect inverted square wave, an analog to digital converter with hysteresis that doesn't give a flying crap about the noise. With our 10K resistor and our 1K resistor, we have about one volt or so of hysteresis we've got the dead zone our noisy sine wave is now a beautiful square wave and if we zoom all the way in there see even on a digital signal you can see the noise there on that sine wave we're looking at 40 microseconds here and that edge on the square wave is still very nice yeah we got a little bit of jitter here 
but if we stop that boom that's at four microseconds so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Schmidt trigger how to use it you can use it to debounce your buttons you can use it to clean up noise in your power supply circuits boost converters buck converters there's a thousand and one uses for a Schmidt trigger they're everywhere you just don't know about it like aliens so if you like this video give me the thumbs up comment share don't forget to subscribe please check out the patreon page big thanks to all those guys who have supported the channel so far that's it I'm out. Peace.